Hello and welcome, my name is Robin and you're watching Robin Reads. Today I want to talk about all the books I've read in the month of April. And um, yeah, uh, it's not a lot. It's actually a total of uh, five books. And um, I sort of only count two in my head because uh, two of the books I've read were comic books and one was a short story collection with like 60 pages uh, so yeah this wasn't a very good reading month for me um, rating wise it was pretty good but yeah just the amount I read wasn't that good for me I just really want to read more but yeah just a bit stressed out because of all the things that have are happening and also um, as you have seen probably in my latest videos I'm moving so that was also like a big change and a um, little bit stressful so therefore I didn't really read a lot um, but yeah let's get into the books I did read in the month of April so the first book I finished I finished on the 5th of April and that is Assassin's Apprentice can you see it? Uh, by Robin Hobb uh, this is the first book in the Farseer, Farseer trilogy and um, yeah, there are more series in this series because it's a series in a series and uh, yeah, so this is the first book um, of that I'm going to make it a little bit brighter and this book is about uh, let me try to remember uh, it has been quite some time, uh, but about this guy, and I forgot his name, but he's pretty much nameless, so, and um, he is abandoned on the doorstep of uh, this castle, because he is a bastard son of the prince of this, that castle, and um, yeah, basically uh, he's abandoned there and uh, grows up in the castle, and um, First, he just learns the things uh, that you learn there in the castle. Just, yeah, just pretty much like taking care of the horses and stuff like that. But then uh, one night he is approached by uh, this mysterious guy and um, very randomly. And apparently this guy is the assassin for the king. And he assassinates pretty much everyone that the king's wants you to assassinate and he becomes the apprentice of this assassin and uh, that's basically what the story is about and yeah I gave this book uh, five stars because I just loved it so much a lot of people complain that um, this is a bit slower um, well I've read the Song of Ice and Fire series um, not quite all of them but almost all of them and I um, that's way slower than this one I think but um, yeah I think I didn't really mind the pace because um, there was a lot of character building and just a lot of world building uh, which I just really really loved and yeah therefore I just didn't really mind the pace and yeah there are uh, just a couple of things in the book just that were really nice especially the characters were just awesome they were just really flushed out and also the writing was just fantastic I think the pacing was very good you uh, really get to know the characters and um, especially the main character and also yeah the magic uh, in this world was also very cool and yeah the story itself also just yeah I just love this so yeah five stars and I highly recommend uh, reading this and then on to the next book I read, I finished on the 9th of April and I yeah, sort of read this for the backlist readathon, but I think, was it this month? I can't really remember, <coughs> excuse me, but uh, yeah, I think I did, but um, that completely failed as you might have guessed. Uh, but that is a Dutch book and that is called a Three Pack, it's by three authors. Um, Margie Rudrow, uh, Joost Klein, and K Karen Emmet Mukrim. And uh, this is the short story collection I talked about. It's about 60 pages. 
And um, yeah, the first two stories, uh, the first one is Exposure by Margie Rudrow and the, the second one is Bruders of Berlin uh, by Joost Klein. And those two were just okay for me. I didn't really like them that much. Um, that was mainly because of the writing style. didn't really uh, like the writing style because it really was like... With a lot of youth talk, as you, uh, yeah, just some words that I'm, I'm just, yeah, I was like, is that necessary? But it is a, uh, an, a, a book for youth because it's uh, for the, um, yeah, youth book week that we have in the Netherlands. Um, so I get that, but I didn't really enjoy it that much. The stories itself were okay, but uh, not that great. I think they were good for uh, young people to read these books and the messages behind them because the first book was about um, yeah how young people uh, go about with social media and um, the main character is in a situation that uh, her friends really want to yeah expose the uh, teachers and they make fun funny videos about the teachers and yeah that goes wrong uh, so that, I think, is a really good message. And the second one was, um, I think, more about trusting your trusting your friends and stuff. So that was also pretty good. Um, but the third story called Echo, I gave five stars because I just really, really loved that one. Um, the writing style was so much better. It was really, really good. And also just the story itself was just really, really nice. It, um, I think, yeah, the main theme was like loneliness or something. And I really relate to that. So, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that story. So a lot of people, uh, yeah, have read this book really low. It has like a 2.90 on Goodreads, which is really low. Um, but I gave it four stars because I... Yeah, just calculated the three books and it was like a 3.9, I think. So, four stars. So, yeah, I uh, I like this book. I think it's important for the youth. So, yeah, just a very good one, I think. And then um, the next two books I read were um, the second and third book in the Heartstopper series. Um, this These are comic books, as you probably know. I read this one and this one. And uh, yeah, really just love this series. It's just awesome. I gave them both five stars. Uh, I read these at the 22nd of April. Um, because in that period of time, I didn't really have a lot of time to read. So I picked these up because, yeah, they were, are just really quick to read. So I could just squeeze in some minutes of reading uh, in between uh, doing a lot of stuff. So that was really nice. Um, and... By the way, I read these on Tapas. Uh, if you have some recommendations on that app, I would love to hear them because um, yeah, I really like that app and I just want to read some more comics there. But um, yeah, hard for me to find like these kind of quality comics. So uh, please recommend some down below if you know the app and have it. Um, so yeah, what is this series about? I think you probably already know but Heartstopper is basically about these two guys Charlie and Nick and uh, their friendship but also maybe something more and um, in the second volume you really explore more of their relationship how that goes and in the third volume um, some more some personal stuff uh, mainly about Charlie and um, yeah I just really love these comics and I highly recommend and then a uh, quickly mention of the last book I read and I can't really talk about the, it because it was a 5 star prediction. Um, but that is uh, The One by John Mars. Uh, I chose this one for my 5 star prediction because um, it's yeah, it was branded as like sci-fi but it really isn't. Of really really light because um, yeah, the premise of this book is like uh, there is this dating app created it's called um, match.com or something first page was by the way really funny so i want to show you uh, metro dna it's called so this is the page uh, really as if it were like a really 
a, a real website, but of course it isn't. But uh, Match Your DNA is a website where you um, can match yourself um, yeah, with your DNA because um, they have found out that if you have like this DNA and the other person and that DNA and that matches, so then you have a match and then you can find the one. The one you really love, and in this book you fi you follow uh, five people who have uh, done this, and I'm not going to say more about it. I will say more um, hopefully next month. But um, as you saw, I'm really slow uh, reading right now, so yeah, probably not going to finish the five star predictions in June as I said I would, but I will try and do it. But um, yeah, we shall see. But I read this one for that. And I finished this one on... Oh, I didn't write down. But I think like the 28th of April or something. And yeah, those were all the books I've read in April. Uh, what I'm currently reading is a couple of books. Um, as you can see here, I am currently reading, still reading Call Me By Your Name. Um, by Andre Acemem. Um I'm pretty far into it. Uh, just read a bit from it and I am on page 169 and it's like 250 pages. Um, I was enjoying this really much uh, but now I'm not really. Um, probably just because I'm just sort of stressed out and stuff and I'm, I find myself being really critical um, reading. Um, so yeah. We shall see what I think about this one. Uh, then um, the other books I'm reading are two on um, my phone for NetGalley. First one is Toward the Midnight Sun. Uh, can't remember the author, but yeah, that's a story about... Um, yeah, it's a historical fiction novel uh, set in like 1898 or something. Um during the gold rush in America and um, you follow this girl who um, has been betrothed um, with a very yeah famous person in I think it like Alaska uh, so she needs to go there but um, it's very perilous and um, her, the guys that uh, needed to take her there um, yeah, are not what they seem and she meets two other guys uh, whom are very nice and she yeah, basically sort of gets together with them to go to this um, important man that she needs to marry and it's a very interesting book to read about um, I haven't read anything about that period I don't really know anything about it and it's very interesting to read about but yeah, I don't know, it's not uh, the greatest book of all time, so I sort of put that one down and uh, started another book. And that's called X Marks the Spot uh, by Sarah Anderson, I think. I mentioned that one in my uh, June arcs video, I think. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. It's about this girl who goes to France uh, to... Yeah, stay with her grandmother for some time because she yeah she did something or so or anything like that um, it's not really clear what she did but her mother uh, can't walk and there has been an accident or something so um, and she thinks it's her fault and therefore she is sent to France uh, she thinks and yeah, she goes on this road trip with this French guy because she um, found a letter from her father to her mother and she wants to know more about uh, that. And that letter is like a sort of treasure hunt kind of idea, so therefore she goes on this road trip. And also with this book I'm liking it, but... Um, just it's okay you know just probably like three stars and i really don't like reading three star books because those are the kind of books that you're like yeah i i'm not going to dnf it but i also am not super excited to finish it so that's also always a bit hard i think for me 
Um, and also because I'm not super enjoying the things I read, I think. Um, and then the last book I'm reading, that is my <laughs> stand for my phone. <laughs> so I'm not going to hold it up. But that is uh, Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I'm like 60 pages into it. Um, that's also a five-star prediction of mine. And so I'm not going to say anything about it. But um, yeah, I was really in the thriller mood and... It's um, Moody May, a.k.a. Read What You Want. And I actually wanted to do that because, um, because, yeah, I'm just not feeling super motivated to read. And also, I am motivated to read, but it's just a really weird feeling. Uh, so I just pick up what I want, which I never do. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a change. I'm not sure if I like it, but <laughs> we shall see. So yeah, those are all the books I've read in the month of April and uh, the books I'm currently reading. And uh, yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I'll see you later.